Right, in this video we're going to have a look at some of the uh, different uh, tags, some of the really basic tags to use for um, uh, just getting text onto web pages. I'm um, assuming that you've got everything set up in brackets uh, according to my previous video. If you don't, uh, you'll have to uh, uh, get that open, follow along and uh, and get set up. Remember once you've installed brackets you'll have to run it from the start menu uh, on your uh, computer. Everything should just work fine if you follow the steps in that video. Um, so at the end of the previous video I went through all of the, uh, uh, the different tags and what they mean. Uh, I explained um, about what tags actually are um, so just a quick run through of this. We've got the uh, the doc type. This is a, a special tag. Um, it basically tells the web browser what type of document it is. Um, so uh, it's basically saying this is an HTML uh, document, specifically an HTML5 document. Okay. So the next line, the HTML tag, is our uh, opening tag. Um, everything is enclosed in the HTML tags. It denotes the start and the end of the uh, of the page. Okay, so everything included in between the uh, opening and closing HTML tag will be rendered on your uh, web browser. We then have the head tag. So the head specifies the header of the document. So that's information about the page, not information that's actually included on the page. Um, as an example, um, you get things like uh, the text style, the colors, um, and um, the title uh, bar, and things like that. This is stuff which is not actually going to appear on your web page. In fact, if you have a look across um, on the uh, the preview here, it says, welcome to the web page. This is some text. None of the stuff that's in the head actually is displayed on the web page. The only thing that gets displayed is the title, um, which is displayed in the uh, the tag at the top here. Okay, so the body section, body section is what you actually see on the web page. Now you can see when I click on uh, body here in the live preview, it highlights everything that's on the page. Um, basically, this is where the action happens. Okay, now I've got two tags. The first one is a heading tag. You know what? I'm gonna, just going to make this text a little bit bigger uh, so it's easier for you to see on the on the screen there so my first tag is heading level one okay so uh, there are six different um, levels of heading um, and um, they're used for uh, various different things um, there's a sort of a set way of, uh, of, of setting out your headings which I'll get into uh, in a sec and then uh, after the heading tag, the H1 tag, we've got the paragraph tag. Okay, so uh, P is short for paragraph. Any text that you are going to put in um, will need to go inside um, P tags. Okay, so uh, we're just going to have a look at that, um, that P tag here. If you have a look what I do here, see if you can uh, notice what's going on. See if you notice anything slightly um, unexpected going on. I'm going to put a new line in here. This is a new line. Um, you can see, although I've got a new line on my uh, in my source code, I don't have a new line uh, on the web page. I can put as many of these blank lines in as I want. They will not appear on my web page because what the P tag does is it just aligns text as if it's a continuous paragraph of text. Okay, if we want to have uh, a new line in our um, document, there's two ways of doing it. The first way you can close the paragraph tag and open a new paragraph tag. You can see now I've got this is some text and I've got this is a new line. Okay, I'm going to create another paragraph tag here. Yeah? Um, uh, this is some more text, let's say. Um, there we go. And this time um, I'm going to put another line in here. This is yet another um, new line. 
Okay, um, just to show you that instead of uh, breaking the paragraph, you can use this tag here, the br tag. Okay, if you use the br tag, it will add a line break in there. Now, have a look, because it's not quite the same as what we've got here. I'll just separate these uh, lines of code here so that you can see the difference there. We've got one paragraph, this is some text there, you can see it highlighted here. We've got another paragraph, and you'll notice there's a whole blank line in between this paragraph and the paragraph underneath it. Whereas with this paragraph, where I've used the break tag, the br tag, um, you can see the whole paragraph, it's still one paragraph, I've just put that line in there. There isn't a blank line um, in there. Okay, so two different ways of adding a blank line in your, um, in your code there. Okay, so um, let's have a look at some more um, methods of uh, formatting here. First of all, let's have a look at our headings. We've got a big welcome to the web page. Now, let's imagine that we're writing a, um, a book, and that book is split into chapters. Okay, I'm going to call it uh, My Adventure. Um, my Adventure Book. Okay, that's the name of the book. It's going to have a number of different chapters. I can specify headings for those chapters. I'm going to use the H2 tag here, Chapter 1. Okay, um, the start. I can have another H2 here, chapter 2, the middle, um, and then we can have another one here, uh, H2, uh, chapter 3, the end. Okay, now you'll notice that my H1 really big and bold, the H2 slightly less big, okay, and that's because it's supposed to signify that these chapters are part of the book, okay. This H1 includes all of these headings here. Now each chapter might be split up into different parts, right, so we could have an H3 in there, and we could say uh, part 1, um, in the beginning, uh, let's say, and maybe we'll have another uh, H3 in there, which is uh, part two, um, towards the middle, let's say. Um, and then here we go, we're in the middle, we can have another H3, um, we've got a part uh, one of chapter two, uh, that's going to say, um, we made it. Uh, another H3, part 2 there, uh, or did we? Okay, and then in chapter 3, maybe we've got um, another um, part 1 of chapter 3. Uh, yeah, we did. And then maybe we've got H3 there. Part 2. Let's finish up. Okay, so you can see how just by using different headings, not only do you get different sizes of your titles, but also it conveys some meaning. We can see that My Adventure Book is the main title of everything, and then we've got chapter 1, chapter 2, and chapter 3. Inside chapter 1 there's part 1, there's part 2, and of course inside part 1 and part 2 we could add some paragraphs. This is the start of the story, um, you know, and we could we could add as many of those different paragraphs as we um, as we need to. I've kind of messed up there. Okay. So the other thing to notice is that uh, the order that you write things in your code is the same as the order they are going to appear on your page. Okay. So um, 
there are six different levels of headings. You can have H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. But you can see how I've laid it out here. Most of the time you probably won't need to go beyond um, uh, H3. Okay, so um, think carefully about uh, what level of heading you're going to have on any uh, on any page. Okay, so couple more things that I want to show you before I finish up this video. The first one is um, add making text bold. Okay, so let's say we want to say this is some text. Okay, we can say that it is strong. Okay, you can see there I've put my strong um, tag around the uh, the word this and you can see that's added that boldness to the um, to the, the this there um, we might want to make this um, this this uh, italic we can use the em em is short for emphasis okay so if we want to add emphasis there we go and you can see there that's made that text italic okay so um, there's your basic um, text formatting tags okay um, with just those tags all of those tags that you see there there's a few different things that you could create okay and that's what I want you to um, uh, to have a go at if you're new to this uh, or something to go back and edit your existing web pages uh, to refine them if you if you're a bit of a dab hand okay there's three different things you could create an online diary for instance so you could have something which says um, uh, my diary here and then maybe you'll have one for uh, you'll have a heading for Monday and you'll have uh, one for morning and stuff like that. Do you see? Do you see how that's sort of laid out? Um, you could create a story in the same way that I uh, that I created my story there, um, with with chapters and different parts. Okay. See if you could create something like that. You could even create a um, a newspaper. Okay. So do do a news report. Do a report on uh, on what's happening in your household at the moment. Okay, so there's three different things that you can do, and try experimenting with the uh, with the strong tags to make things bold, and with the em tags to make things italic. Okay, and when you're ready, you can come back, uh, and in the next um, in the next video, we will have a look at um, adding links um, and um, Maybe adding some uh, other fancy uh, uh, fancy formatting as well. Perhaps even some images. Okay.